<laughs> Today we are in Atlanta, Georgia. We are hosting Atlanta STEM Fest in partnership with Chevron. We have kids from across the metro Atlanta area and we are engaging them in hands-on STEM. From them flying drones, making a propeller car, we have coding and robots here that kids are getting hands-on in STEM engagement. We also have a smaller space for our little babies, our K through second graders who are playing with boats. They're making their boats and they're getting to race them. They're making slime and having just loads of fun with STEM. See the water coming through there? We can turn this and close it like this. Introducing, uh, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math to about five to six hundred kids. It just ignites their imagination. I just talked to a, a young girl. She had never been to something like this. She's a great ahead. She loves math, and so this is just going to give her the idea, the possibilities of what she can do with her academics. And so for Chevron, we need folks that have the the science, technology, engineering, and math in order to solve the hardest problems that we have in the future. And that's really unlocking energy and, and providing clean, affordable energy to the world. So we need engineers, we need computer professionals, we need data scientists, we need AI individuals, and it all starts with them getting a great education in science, technology, engineering, and math. And a program like this exposes kids to the possibility of a career in STEM. And they see that it's not maybe as hard as they thought. And then also, they're gonna have a lot of fun. And when you have fun at your job, you excel in it. And so that's why it's so important for us to support a program like this. Yeah, well, it's really important for us to be involved, number one, for the kids. It's all about the kids and teaching them more about energy and why we even see energy as a very important resource for us in the United States. And then also it's very important to educate them about STEM. And STEM technology, STEM education is the foundation for a lot of where uh, the future uh, leaders in our country are going to be headed, and most importantly around the power companies and energy as a whole. Oh, I'm Dr. Mack. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for coming out to the STEM Fest. Thank you for having me. Yes. When I grow up, I want to be a mechanical engineer, so STEAM has always been a part of my life, but now I'm fully embracing it, and I love STEAM so much because we use it every day in everything that we do. I'm here with Peyton, and we're building a structure, and Peyton is building, she's going to build a tallest building in Atlanta. And when kids can work with their hands, hands on mean minds on, so she has to critically think about every peg she put in here. And it's beautiful watching her build this building. Right, Peyton? Give me a high five. You're doing a great job. Let's see if your tower can hold. You think you can hold it? You sure? <laughs> Look how strong your tower is. Tell me how you made it. So um, first, how to build our aerodynamic structure for the car so it'll go against the wind and have little to no wind resistance. And then we put like a battery and a family car to propel it to the cooler. 